All right, so before we left, <clears throat> I hadn't finished 4.5 yet. So I wanted to actually start with a little recap of 4.5 um, before we did the new stuff from it. I was just trying to give you guys a quiz on that stuff before we ended the quarter, but now that we don't have to rush it, here we go. So 4.5, remember it was the um, U sub integration. So I just want to do a couple more examples of U sub, like the easy ones, just so you know, you refresh your memory a little bit because I know it's been a while. Okay, so remember this is the one where you're given an integration problem that looks kind of crazy. So we'll do like x squared minus nine cubed, but then there's also, it's being multiplied by something else. And remember that dx is always there at the end. So remember your goal is like kind of like chain rule, look to see what's in parentheses. Cause remember you're looking for something in parentheses where if you take the derivative of it, the derivative is also in our problem somewhere. So what I wanna look at is this x squared minus nine right here. Because if I take the derivative of x squared minus 9, that should give me 2x. And look, 2x is right there along with the rest of the problem. So it's, that's what I'm going to substitute it in for. So I'm going to say u equals x squared minus 9. So our derivative du is 2x dx. Because remember, the dx part is kind of like if I wrote it as du over dx, because that's another way to write the derivative is and then I'm just going to multiply both sides by the dx and so that's why it's not there anymore okay but we're basically saying this 2x dx this whole part at the end is becoming du and this whole part at the beginning we said this is actually going to be u so now we just have u cubed so if I rewrite this clearer this just looks like u cubed du. And this is way easier to integrate now because if we use our power rule, we just add one to the exponent, divide by our new exponent plus c, and that's our integration. So now all we want to do is plug the x's back in for the u because we said u was equal to x squared minus 9. So this will just be x squared minus 9 to the fourth power over 4 plus c. Okay. Not too crazy. So that was my recap of U sub integration. Let's do a slightly harder one now. <clears throat> so let's say we started off with let's say we started off with 4x over the square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay, so first let me rewrite this because I don't like this whole radical thing. I'm going to write this as 4x times 16 minus x squared raised to the 1 half power. Oh, sorry, negative 1 half power since it was on the bottom of a fraction. Okay, so again we're looking for our parentheses to see what we want to use for u probably the 16 minus x squared here. The derivative of this is negative 2x, but I have this 4x out here, so the x is there, but the negative 2 is not, so I'm going to have to adjust things a little bit. First, I'm going to rewrite this so that my constant is out front, because I don't really need to deal with that right now. It's just a constant. This should make things a little bit easier for me. So I'm going to say u equals 16 minus x squared. So du, our derivative, is negative 2x dx. So remember, we're trying to get a negative 2x dx inside our problem somewhere. Oops, there was a dx here. Totally forgot. Okay, so I have the x dx. I just don't have that negative 2. So what I'm going to do is multiply that negative 2 there so that I have the negative 2x dx just like I want for du but I can't just multiply a random thing inside my integral I also have to do the opposite so like it cancels it out kind of so I'm also going to multiply the outside by a negative half to kind of cancel out with that negative 2 so now if I rewrite my problem this will look like 
a negative 2 out front because I have negative half times 4 is negative 2. And then my 16 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power is just u to the negative 1 half. x dx negative 2 is just du. So this looks way easier to integrate now. If I use my power rule, I'm going to add 1 to my exponent, divide it by my new exponent, plus c. So this is really just going to be negative 2 divided by 1 half is just negative 4 if I multiply by the reciprocal. And then I'm going to rewrite u with my 16 minus x squared. And there's my final answer. Okay. So, I'm going to have you guys try this one. Let's see if you can figure this one out. So if we have 5x times the cube root of 1 minus x squared dx. Go ahead and pause the video, video right here. Try it yourself. Let's see if you come up with the same answer that I do. Okay, hopefully you paused and now you are ready to check your answer. So, me be me, I'm going to rewrite this first. All right, so this is the answer you should have gotten. How do we do? Negative 15 over eight times one minus x squared raised to the four over three power plus c. Okay, well, here's where I want to move on to the new stuff then. So, The new stuff that I want to add on is just the definite integrals. So definite just means that there's numbers to plug in at the end. Um, and there's two different ways to do this. So I'll start off with an example. Let's say I'm trying to find the integral from 0 to 1. So this right here, these endpoints, is what makes it definite integral. Remember, our answer does not have that plus c at the end anymore if we have these endpoints here. So we're just going to keep it nice and simple. If we do the integral of 2x times x squared plus 1 cubed dx from 0 to 1. So here, we're just going to start off like we would normally. Set u equal to x squared plus 1. du would be 2x dx. And look, it's already all there. We got the 2x dx right there. So really, I'm just rewriting this as u cubed du. Okay, so now we've just changed all our variables into u's, and my in endpoints right now are in terms of x. So I'm just going to write x equals 0, x equals 1. So we could do this the old way, where we integrate into u to the 4th over 4, but then we would plug in our endpoints instead of plus c, from x equals 0, x equals 1, but we'd have to rewrite this in terms of x's. So this would be x squared plus 1 to the fourth power over 4 from x equals 0 to x equals 1. Okay, and then you would plug in and go from there. Easy peasy. Or the other way is just to integrate. So we end up with u to the fourth over 4. Then, instead of using endpoints from 0 to 1 for x, I'm going to turn them both into u. Because we know what u equals. So if I just plug in 0 and 1 into my equation for u, that'll give me new endpoints. So 
So if I plug in my endpoints into u equals x squared plus 1, when x equals 0, 0 squared plus 1 will give me 1. So that'll give me my new endpoint of u equals 1. And if I plug in x equals 1, 1 plus 1 is 2. So u would equal 2. So from here, now I can just do plug in straight into this equation right here. So 2 to the 4th over 4 minus 1 to the 4th over 4, which gives me 15 over 4 as my final answer. I totally just used up all the space on my piece of paper. Cool. So there's two ways to do this. I really don't care which way you do it. If you just do it the normal way, plug your x's back in and then plug your endpoints into the x's. Or if you leave them as u's, but then just change your endpoints into u equals and then get an answer that way. You will get the same thing both times. You can try it out if you want to make sure that's correct. But yeah. Um, I'm just going to add one more example in there just so you have it. So if we did an integral from 0 to 3 of x times x squared plus 3dx, I'm going to let you guys solve this one out on your own. Um, pause the video here, and then we'll check our answer again.